It's a horrible night in Ayrshire in terms of the weather, but it's a great night for the Jambos as Hearts have booked their place at Hamden after a 2-1 win over Kilmarnock. Welcome back, guys, to Son of Scotland TV. My throat is absolutely gone, but we're going to try and get through this match anyway. So, Hearts with a 2-1 win in Ayr, in Ayrshire against Kilmarnock in the Scottish League Cup quarterfinals, becoming the first team to book their place at Hamden for the two sets of semi-finals. Goals from Grant and Lowry with a late, late winner in the 92 minutes. Kind of weird that we scored two goals tonight, but it wasn't our strikers that scored the goals. They actually assisted the goals. Shankland, great assist with uh, Grant. Kai Rolls got forward, came forward. He'd he done, he done like a John sort of run out from the, the defence and he picks out Shanklin and Shanklin, you just expect Shanklin to maybe turn around, try and trap the ball, turn his body around, try and go towards goal, but no, he just laid it off. It's just a nice wee delicate layoff into the path of Grant and then Grant with a lovely side footed shot into the bottom hand corner. I thought the goal was really good. And did we deserve to be leading first half? Maybe. I thought it was 50-50. I thought probably, we, we, I think we edged it, but there wasn't much in the first half, let's be honest, there really wasn't. Uh, second half though, I wasn't really impressed, I thought Kilmarnock came on to the game a bit more, I thought Kilmarnock looked a lot more likely to score, and you can expect that because they are behind, the other team chasing the game, so I understand that they eventually do get a goal through Lyons, Kennedy's cross, initially I thought it took a slight deflection off Toby Simic, but I don't know if it does, it, it's pretty poor I guess that Lyons has got a free header in the box, but he does have it, he scores it, it's then 1-1, and honestly I, I thought for this point, the rain starts pushing down, and I thought for this point that we were going to lose, Kamarnik did look like they were the slightly better side, they just looked more dangerous, they were committing bodies forward, um, I didn't like the changes for Naismith, Kamarnik had one man up front, and we were playing with three centre-backs, it's like, why don't we put an extra body in midfield to try and win the midfield battle? But for whatever reason, I thought we were getting overrun by Kelly. And I was kind of hoping at this point just to get into extra time because I thought Kelly looked the, the better team. And if anyone was going to grab a late winner, I thought it was going to be them. But no, we make the subs. Lowry comes on on the 90, 90th minute, 91st minute. And then we get forward. Shankland has the ball, gets it to Boyce. Boyce thinks about taking a shot. Cuts back, passes it to Lowry. Lowry could shoot, but no. He drags the ball back onto... So he, he's like, got a chance to shoot, but he drags the ball back. He sends uh, Stuart Finlay sliding past, and then he just buries it right into the bottom corner. It was, it was a great strike, great finish from Lowry. And it was a finish of an experienced man, because he, he could have took the shot originally, but he decided to pull the ball back in order to open up some space for himself. And I thought it was a great finish for Lowry and... First goal for Hearts, and I, I want to see more of that from him. But I've got to be honest, I didn't think it was a great performance for us. I did not. I thought we were, I thought we were pretty poor. I did. I'm not going to say we were pish because we won, so I don't think we were god awful. But I, I don't think we were great. I understand though. Kilmarnock is a difficult place to go. I wasn't expecting this to turn up tonight. To be honest, I did not think we would win tonight. So I'm just happy that we got the victory regardless of the performance. But based on the performance, I don't think it was a great performance. But I think it's a great result because the way we've been playing at the moment and the results we've been getting at the moment, I don't think anybody really expected us to come here and get the victory. I know I didn't, but we did. We are in to the semi-finals. We're going to Hamden and we'll find it tomorrow who our opponents will be. Um, I'm expecting the winners of the other games to be Hibs, Aberdeen and Rangers, but I mean, you never know. This is a great chance now for us to win a cup, even though we're not playing good. Celtic are out this. Rangers are very below par, so this is a chance for someone that doesn't normally win a trophy, and to be honest, in Scottish football, that's everybody outside of Celtic. This is a big chance for all the teams remaining to go on and win a cup, and we're only two games now away. Two wins away from lifting silverware, so I'm still not impressed with Naismith. Even if he won the Scottish League Cup, I still would not think he's the right man for the job, but it would go a long way in convincing me. So if Stephen Naismith can win his League Cup, by God, it, it buys him time. It gives him time, but I don't know. I'm just not. I'm just not seeing it with Stephen Naismith. Not impressed. I think tonight a defeat. It wouldn't have been the final nail in the Naismith coffin, but. 
I think it would have been one step closer to the edge, and obviously the edge being him getting pushed out the door. But we win the night, we survive, 2-1 victory, Grant and Lowry with the goals, good to see them score. It's been a while since Grant scored for us, I can't even remember last time Grant scored to be honest, and then Lowry getting his first goal. So, good to win, I didn't think the performance was great, but I don't care about the performance, it's all about the result. And we got the result tonight. So, hi right, guys, that's it. Two on hearts. I'll catch you in the next one. Let me know your thoughts down below. I, 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 it was a bad night to play football. Let's be honest. That towards the end, like you couldn't even play football. It was like thunderstorms. It was crazy. I haven't seen that heavy rain in a long time. Was it as bad as the? It wasn't as bad as the like rain with Scotland and, and Georgia. But who knows? Had it been raining for a prolonged period of time, it might have been, because that was heavy rain, man. But we got the job done, so happy with that, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Till next time, probably back to the draw tomorrow, hopefully. I don't know, I mean, hope. Uh, to be fair, out of all the teams remaining, I don't really fear anyone. Obviously, I'd rather avoid Rangers, because the Rangers and they're the second best team in the league and country, so naturally, I would rather avoid them. But, no, nah, I mean, if, no matter who we get, if we get Hibs, I, I, I always like an Edinburgh Derby. If we get Aberdeen, we just recently beat them. If we get St Mirren, it's a chance for us to get revenge. So, you know what, I, I'll take anybody at this point. But looking forward to the draw tomorrow. Anyway guys, that's it. Catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.